All right. Imagine your franchise being adapted into a TV show, which is doing so incredibly well that it brings so many old and new people back to your game. And I'm talking about Halo. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not talking about Halo. I'm talking about Fallout. Fallout, what an incredible show. That was really good. They did such a good show in capturing the vibe of Fallout in being a good in-universe TV show, which just captures the the feel, the look, and, and, and everything from Fallout, at least for me. I think it was really well done. And seeing what that did for the games is just incredible. And not even like the last game, not 76, not Fallout 4, but even for Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 3, 2, and 1. It's insane. I was looking at SteamDB and I will show you. It is it is really awesome to see that. Like we're on Fallout 1 right now. And um, there's like 1,473 people in game at the moment. But they had a peak. Like you can see, this is three months, right? 180, 200 players. And I think if we, if, if we go back, like it, it's always been kind of the same ish though, right? For a year and maybe even the all time. This, this is when you get a bundle, which is just insane. Awesome. Love to see that. But then you get the Fallout TV show and it just spikes up to uh, a spike of almost 4,000 people playing the original Fallout game, which is so old. It came out in 1997. That is <laughs> incredibly old already. But people picked it up. You go to Fallout 2. People picked it up. Same story. A little bit less though, but... 2,194 people. There you go to the newer games, Fallout 3, a peak of 11,000 people. But that's like insane though. And almost 4,000 people playing this right now. You go to New Vegas, same story. Almost 4,000 people, 2,000 people playing it right now. 2,000 plus people playing it right now. Fallout 4, holy damn. Like people went back to Fallout 4 like crazy. Sales were up. A peak of 164,000 people that were playing it. And at the moment, like, this is also an insane number. 76,000 people over are playing it at the moment. Uh, I want to say I'm one of them, but I'm recording the video. But I'm one of those people. I went back to Fallout 4 as well. Uh, I played it way back when it came out. I think um, maybe a couple of months after release. I can't really remember the game. Like, there's, there's now that I'm playing through it there's a lot of bits and bobs that come back to it but it's such an awesome game and then the main thing that they did with with fallout is 76 also a spike also a spike of 73,000 people plus and at the moment 32,000 people are playing this which is incredible for a multiplayer fallout game those are really good numbers i wish well not i wish i hope it stays like this because um really fun right also the main thing that they did is they gave it away for free on Twitch Prime, you just—I don't—I don't know if it's still free, but um, free for Xbox, free for PC through the Microsoft Store, but still free. Like you could play it easily. I picked it up. I didn't have this game. I never started it because it was broken mess, and I just never picked it up. So my last Fallout game was Fallout 4, and I—I I, I, uh, I don't really remember it. So it's, it's also really nice not remembering it because going through it right now gives me a lot of fun memories again but that's insane like how good did the tv show do to get people back to every game not even the latest ones like fallout 76 and fallout 4 it brought people back to every single game and people were interested in it um and and i do think that one of the main things i personally think why people found the tv show so good but also went back to the games. Um, maybe a weird reason, but it's because the TV show is not retelling a story. If you look at The Last of Us, still haven't finished that though. Shit. Um, also really good, as far as I saw it, but it's retelling the story. If we look at Halo, <sighs> incredibly bad because it it is it is the worst piece of fan fiction you could ever see. And that, like, that doesn't bring any interest to anything. And then you get Fallout, which is just a new TV show. Well, uh, a new story in the storyline 
which is set after after everything i think yeah 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 so after fallout 4 this tv show is set it's just nice to have a new story instead of a retelling which is for fallout really possible because you have a lot of faults um there's a lot of stories and it's just not like a oh we have this protagonist that you always follow it's always a new person always a new character that you follow and a new story even though fallout 3 um four and a tv show though are basically around you going out of the vault to find a family member <laughs> that's just it right um which is not a bad storyline and i do think that in the tv show as well we see uh like good character development we see what the world does to lucy and everything which is um really well written and i like it a lot though it's really good i'm gonna watch it again <laughs> i usually don't rewatch tv shows a lot but this one i do want to rewatch because there's probably some shit i missed some stuff i want to see but that just brings up a question for me personally is that what now because there is a massive interest into the games right now as well you can see that by the numbers right there is nothing new on the horizon for fallout outside of Bethesda still updating and doing some stuff on fallout 76 but there's no next single player game there's no next announcement for nothing uh i think todd howard said in a, a interview that they're still working on elder scrolls which is obvious and they're maintaining fallout 76 which is awesome for them to do that but elder scrolls is not going to be released before 2026 that's the earliest i think it's going to be at least 2027 and after that period that's the period they can start working on a new fallout game but what if microsoft gives fallout to a different studio for a main game and i kind of don't hope they do that i i, I hope they let fallout the main game stay with bethesda themselves because they've done really well with fallout and i really hope that that's going to be the case also if that is being optimistically saying the next fallout is going to be released in seven to eight years because development on that game is not going to be a two to three year development cycle I, I i'm guessing though so yeah like elder scrolls is already a couple of years i guess in the making and that's early as 2026 from what i've seen so fallout is not going to be any different but then what if they gave obsidian another shot at fallout just like new vegas which could be possible i don't know what's going on with obsidian after they've released avowed which is supposed to come out this year which also looks really fun but after that could they possibly go work on uh, uh, uh an, another fallout game as in fallout new vegas with maybe a smaller fallout game maybe not as a, a, a big of a story but just like here is a new cool fallout game for you to enjoy in three four years maybe which is earlier than seven eight years and then on the low keep updating fallout 76 and waiting for the new season two for fallout because that's been announced already uh which is probably gonna take a year or two to make as well hopefully a year i hate it when tv shows to just drop everything at once and then expect you to wait two three years for a new season arcane i'm looking at you you're doing that you're so awesome i want it like it's two years now and we're waiting for a new arcane game a uh, game a, a show season yeah, it just gets me flustered and fucked up man and deep that so yeah i think that could be a really good possibility or maybe microsoft is like we're just gonna give um another studio a shot at not a main game as i said in the beginning but at a fallout new vegas style game which is a sort of a side game which like fallout new vegas wasn't even that small of a game from what i've seen map size it is just as or almost as big as fallout 3 and those two games are just a little bit smaller than fallout 4 if you look at map size and then i think if you go for a fallout 5 that game needs to be bigger than fallout 4 um needs to you know until more maybe even vehicles would be really cool like not not like really speedy vehicles but just like uh uh a, a motorcycle or something that you see in the, in the side of the road in fallout 4 and stuff like maybe you know fix one of those up and you can you can be a little bit faster across the country uh if it's a bigger you know a bigger map also what i was thinking is 
what if we're not getting a new Fallout game anytime soon and Microsoft is like, we're not going to give it away to any other studio outside of Bethesda or Obsidian to make like Fallout 5 or a side Fallout game? What if they just made remade Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas? I don't think they should ever remake the Fallout 1 and 2. But what if they do that? I think I've seen rumors going around of a remake for Fallout 3. That could be easier than making an entire new game. Release a remake of Fallout 3. Make it really good. Make it really interesting. Um, like up the graphics a shit ton. <laughs> you know. Um, work on uh, some of the systems. Like I think g gameplay wise Fallout 4 feels the nicest. Like shooting and everything. Uh, Malay attacks and, and whatnot, you know, put that together in Fallout 3 and, you know, maybe remake that game. That could also be a possibility. So, yeah, like, I'm just, we haven't seen anything. We've only seen, uh, like, a thing from Todd Howard saying they're not working on it. Uh, and it, it is kind of crazy that it seems nothing, nothing is planned as far as outside of giving away fallout 76 for xbox and pc and with which is kind of like a smart marketing move to do as well because hey you know this is their latest game that they brought up what was it four or five years ago oh let me look it up i was just i was just a bit off six years ago so damn six years already it goes fast yeah so it, it, it's kind of like a smart marketing move to give Fallout 76 away because it's uh, they do want to make money with like uh, the, the the DLCs and stuff and and all the in-game things uh, you know that you could buy. So giving that away for free is again smart, but it's weird having nothing planned besides that because this I do wonder like that's like I'm just thinking like i do wonder did they not think this would be as big of a success as it is like they have faith in their in their you know ip and their story and their brand as well but maybe they were like this is going to be really cool and then 76 is going to get a little bit more traffic i i don't think maybe it was like dude 76 is getting more traffic but holy jesus look at fallout 4 it's over a hundred and what was it? 70,000 people playing it right now. Yeah. So I'm wondering if we can get any news or, 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 or leaks or anything soon, maybe the next year that gets us excited for a fallout installment, not eight years away from now. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see what happens. I'm, I'm kind of curious. Are you looking forward to a new fallout game? If they would, if they would make it, release it, bring it out, start developing it and if so do you want to follow out five do you want to follow a new Vegas style game what would you want from that and what studio would you give it to i think that's maybe the best one though if it's not bethesda what other studio would you give it to also outside of obsidian maybe a good one microsoft owns a lot of studios so yeah, hey leave that in the comment section down below thank you for watching leave a like on the video if you like the video and i hopefully see you on the next one don't forget to subscribe. Ciao, ciao.